Imagine you have a car for the weekend, you, know, you want to go with some friends in the Black Forest, it's a very nice road, so tortuous, uh, it's a very nice setting. You say, wow, it would be great to have a, a little bit of more fun with a car. And all you need to do is grab your, your cell phone, make a um, purchase for an extra 50 horsepower, for a little bit more torque, a little bit of ride and handling, fun. You don't need that all the time. So you just buy it for a few hours. That's what connectivity will allow to do. Megacities are a huge topic. There are more and more of them emerging. For these cities to run effectively, we need integrated transport solution systems to be in place. Lots of people think of vehicle to vehicle connectivity and for us that's really in a silo. What you need to think of is connectivity to infrastructure, infrastructure to trams, uh, infrastructure to other parts of a smart city so you can actually gain efficiencies in the city. So combining all those data, all those data points and the analytics that go with it will really shape different business models of parking garages. Is it a push to call where it's like a valet service when I get on or off? from the end of my mobility section of a tram or that entire trip. Complexity, liability, uh, risks that are associated to connectivity are some of the reasons why the automotive industry has not embraced it as fast as it could have. The connected cars we know is a reality now. Autonomous driving will be coming. Um, one of the key areas, and as I say, cars are connected now and it's relatively easy to connect them. One of the areas we're looking into is the security of that connectivity. So how safe and secure is your connection, the car, and maybe even the environment that, that car operates in? The car has an increasing uh, amount of control units. So for each of these control units, you have a, a wealth of, of data that is being captured. In some cases, it's not being recorded. And in many cases, it's never used at, uh, at all. Um, and there's, I think the industry is, is coming to terms with the fact that there's actually value in this data to improve product development, to bring additional value, to bring uh, new services uh, or to bring over-the-air updates in a way that Tesla has done. They've shown the way in many cases in terms of, of technology developments, also because of the background of the people who have led this company that have a, an IT background as opposed to mechanical electronic engineer background. They've made the industry realize that basically you could avoid um, a very expensive recall just by being able to send an update of that uh, over the air for the software or the middleware. That has, has really shaken the automotive industry in the past couple of years. Today, the, the business model of the automotive industry is largely focused on selling the car at the time of purchase and very little on the rest of the time. But if you are in a, in a flat economy, you need to, to rethink the value creation model. And I think connectivity and, uh, is, is an open door for the automakers to rethink their, their, their value creation model.